What's up? It's your boy amateur pro home chef Nathaniel Levinson. We're talking about yogurt. Yogurt is basically uh, similar to buttermilk. It is a cultured dairy product. Now, you can make it with all sorts of milks. I think they've even done uh, plant milks. We have some of those here. Um, but you know, there are all different kinds of yogurt. And while most people consider yogurt to be sort of a breakfast food, uh, sort of, you know, wake up, have a yogurt, and you throw some granola in there, whatever. Uh, yogurt is actually really great for cooking. Um, so we'll just look at the different kinds of yogurt you have access to, uh, maybe, you, you know, what, what the differences are, what you can use them for. And, uh, and we're gonna try some of them because I'm actually not a big yogurt person. Uh, I don't mind it. It's not something I, I actually dislike, but you know, I, I'm not really given in to the yogurt world. And since this is an ingredient deep dive, uh, we're gonna do some of that. So um, your basic yogurt is, you know, a thick, it's made, it's made from cow's milk. It's, it, there's a bacterial culture in there. Um, and it's, you know, very specific what bacteria you have to use. Uh, lactobacillus is one of them. Um, and basically what happens is the, the bacteria will consume the sugars in the milk and produce lactic acid, which is what gives yogurt its creamy texture. This also uh, unravels and tangles the proteins, which is why it, it meshes together and gets thick and creamy, okay? So and this is one of my favorite brands of yogurt. This is uh, Stonyfield. I just find it's very good tasting. Um, and of course, you can obviously get any fat percentage you want. I like full fat. Um, you can get like 2%, 1% skim milk, but obviously the, the less fat you have in there, the more sour and the less rich it's going to taste because fat is flavor, right? So, you know, you can see it's, it, this, is the, and this is just plain yogurt, right? Pretty thick, um, pretty thick yogurt. And you'll notice if, you know, as you um, scoop out your yogurt, if you have a large container, there will be water that comes to the surface. That's as the proteins are kind of squeezing together, it presses the water out. And you just pour that water off and your, your yogurt will get richer and creamier over time to a certain extent, right? Um, but this yogurt, smooth, creamy, this is plain. So there's no flavor to speak of, but it's very rich, it's very creamy. So this whole plain, whole milk plain yogurt is an excellent substitute for anything that kind of looks the same, right? So mayonnaise, sour cream, creme fraiche, right? Whole plain yogurt is an excellent substitute for any of those. Um, you can swap it basically one to one. Um, it provides tang, body, creaminess. It's, frankly, it's great. Great, goes great with spicy foods. A little bit of, of uh, just plain yogurt, maybe mixing some spices, um, but plain yogurt, fantastic at cooling off uh, spicy things, okay? Uh, most yogurts that we're used to are the flavored yogurts, you know, your Yoplates and Yoplate Lights. Um, these are just very sweetened, so, you know, watch for the calories on this because they put a lot of sugar in these. Um, but if you're cooking, you make sure you get plain yogurt, not vanilla yogurt, right? Um, you've also got like your 2% milk fats and things like that. Um, so then we get to the specialty yogurts. So that's like generic yogurt. When we get to the specialty yogurts, we have things like, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. I think it's kefir, kefir, kefir. I, I'm not 100% sure. This is very similar. It's kind of like a cross between yogurt and buttermilk. So it's, it's designed to be drunk. It is essentially yogurt, but it's designed to be drunk. I've never actually had kefir before. So we're gonna find out. This is uh, strawberry flavored. Woo! I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. That is intensely sour. Um, mild strawberry flavors. This is not very sweetened, but um, that's an intense flavor. Apparently it's good for you. The, the, the science is a little out on probiotics and how effective that stuff is. Um, but supposedly it's good for your gut health. So maybe not for me, but that's what Kefir is. It's, it's something you drink. Um, then we also have Greek yogurt, of course. Uh, Greek yogurt is strained to make it thicker. Basically, you squeeze out some of the water and you end up with a thicker, richer product. That's all Greek yogurt is, and, and different places will squeeze it out to, to a different extent, right? So you can look, it's, it's, you know, it's very thick, very rich, almost sour cream consistency. Um, Mouthfeel is much richer. It coats the inside of your mouth, um, but Greek yogurt is, is, is quite good. Um, then you have what's called skier. This is a Nordic, Icelandic preparation. Um, what makes this unique among the other ones is that they actually put rennet in to curdle the milk. So technically this is a cheese. So rennet is an extract, they make it artificially now, but it's an extract from uh, animal stomachs that basically interacts with proteins. It's how you make a lot of cheeses. You start by adding rennet and that curdles the milk and you make cheese. So this is technically a cheese, but most people consider it more of a yogurt because of the consistency and the application. Skier, incredibly tart, different texture. It's much firmer. Um, 
Honestly, it's kind of cheese-like, right? If you ever had like a ricotta or a marscapone, that's the kind of consistency you get. So then we have coconut milk and almond milk alternatives, right? So these are obviously for the lactose intolerant or the, the people who are voluntarily dairy-free. There we go. Then you can see the consistency is much looser, right? Because you don't have as much protein in there uh, firming it up. And the flavor is much thinner, right? You don't have that same level of fat that's providing all that, that texture and flavor. But yeah, that's yogurt. If, you know, you can find a yogurt you like. Now, for cooking, definitely get plain yogurt. Uh, whole milk, Greek yogurt, those types of things, those are what you wanna cook with. The other ones, um, mostly kind of just eat alone, throw in some granola, that's good breakfast. Um, but there are two things I noticed when I was purchasing this yogurt for this episode. First of all, um, I discovered the abomination that causes desolation. And uh, Greg is looking very mournful as I tell you, we're gonna have to do this in Tasty Testers, but not today. And finally, of course, if you're a kid growing up like me, we all knew that the king of yogurt is the Gogurt. So until next time, I'm your boy amateur pro home chef Nathaniel Levinson. Go get some yogurt, babe. Or yoghurt if you're in Britain and wrong.